check out tools, you can update your lead band to see all the tools that he has to make sure that you want to come over. Agility is on there? So uh, they're all useful tools. Uh, you can update users when new users come in. You can view all data at any point. And that's how you can actually use R2 as a web assistant. The log app. And the business will explain how you can actually move around and use barcodes. But basically, if you look right here, we have, we're using a barcode reading library, and we have two barcodes right here, and using these two barcodes, which have um, hard-coded coordinates and a global map, we can calculate his actual, so these two dots right here represent these two barcodes, and from this, we can calculate his actual position and his orientation in relation to those barcodes. So we're currently working on implementing that onto R2's actual connect, because we have two connects, this one right here, and one that's actually on him. So we have to work on implementing that with his interface and his board on him. We're trying to figure it out right now, but um, we have this localized that we're currently running and it works, so, yeah. <laughs> so you get cameras on him now? Yeah, um, we have a LiDAR on him, and we also have a connect on him. You have a LiDAR? Yeah. No cons? Stolen from my a, a fancy Roomba. <laughs> 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 They have a, a sensor suite of um, uh, ultrasonics as well, which you'll, you'll see a little bit more about that. Um, we actually use that as an example. Uh, and, you know, all the work that we do is, is a sweet example product for other people to build on. Uh, and so you'll see how they, they use that. And mm -hmm. it's actually uh, a low level thing to work with that FPGA. And I don't want to say more than that to seal their thunder. Yeah. Yeah, and also, we have the Connect can detect 3D uh, coordinates. Mm -hmm. So you know how far away you are from uh, things in, in uh, clinical range. Mm -hmm. So that's how we do that. Yeah, but we gotta do it for 50 frames a second. <laughs> <laughs> that's a I think you guys are what, 25, 30, something, something like that? Yeah, yeah, this is what they're running at. Yeah. Yeah. Since you got a limited view of R2's actual detection ability in the live demo, that plan has a simulation where you can see how the software actually does support stuff. Um, so, yeah, right there is R2, so yeah, as we said before, it's basically uh, dextrose, and it starts to be exact. Um, all these, like, slightly darker areas are the actual obstacle. We also blow by one R2 radius. Um, this is because we treat R2 as a point. Uh, you can see right here that he's, like, avoiding this obstacle, so it's in the way of the path, but since it's a slight adjustment, uh, Big Bang takes care of it. Um, which is our dynamic obstacle, right? And up here, a bigger obstacle will come in the way, which forces a replant. Um, these things with the little lines in them are barcodes. And so this is basically implementing the barcode solution. You can see how he's getting a little bit off. Yeah. He readjusted, he saw the barcode, so he readjusted it in real position to where the barcode tell, said he would be. So you can see how in real life it'll work. You get off a little bit when you're internally simulating. So you can see when you read the barcode, he readjusted so a better accurate location, just based on the barcode, once it's implemented. And then the X is its final destination. And what year are you guys? Uh, freshman. Freshman. Not too bad. Not too bad. This was uh, mostly simulation, yeah. But uh, what it does is they've actually inserted noise in, into this uh, to represent mm -hmm. the, the noise that they see there. Uh, particularly with regards to the um, uh, the barcodes for what they have, so that way it makes it be more realistic simulation. So, that, uh, you know, particularly with it having to reposition itself and to recognize, oh, I'm not where I thought I was. And so they've been playing to see how much error they can actually tolerate. Uh, 